Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is day two of my declutter series. Today we're going to declutter blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so this is what we're starting with. I have my bronzers, my blushes, my highlighters, and my liquid highlighters. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's, oops, sorry. Start with bronzers. Okay, so I have this Pixie, what is it called? Um, Subtly Sun Touched Bronzer. It's a very, very subtle bronzer. Honestly, it does absolutely nothing for my skin. It really doesn't even illuminate my skin at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. It doesn't even show up at all on my fair skin. Um, let's see, this is a Revolution Makeup, um, Revolution London. This is their trio for fair so we've got the bronzer it's got a highlighter and then it's got a glowy blush i like this um but you know i've had it for a while you can tell that i've used it so i've had it for a while i have another um trio that i like better so i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one let's see this is the physician's formula butter bronzer i depotted it because the packaging was big and bulky and plus the packaging broke I'm definitely getting rid of this bronzer. I can't stand the scent, and I don't really understand the hype behind this bronzer. I think it's a very mediocre bronzer. Um, if I loved the bronzer, I would put up with the smell, but I don't even like the bronzer, so I'm going to declutter I'm gonna keep the packaging, though, because this is um, what I use when I depot things. Um, this is the Rimmel Stay Matte bronzer in the shade nude is actually one of their powders um i got this off the recommendation of jamie page she said this is the best dupe that she has ever found for the mark jacobs um you know that one in the big bulky white packaging that everyone obsesses about oops let me get a better swatch um, but she says this is the best dupe that she has ever found i really like this powder it's smooth it's creamy it goes on the skin very nicely it's not patchy at all so i'm gonna go ahead and keep that this Too Faced uh, Milk Chocolate Soleil, I got this as a sample from Ulta, like a gift with purchase. Um, I'm really glad that they sent me this because I'd always wanted to try it, but I, there's certain items that I'm just not going to buy high-end. Bronzers, blushes, um, I typically, mascaras, I'm typically not going to buy high-end for these items. So I was really glad when they sent it to me. I really enjoyed it. Um, it's gotten hard pan now, it's old, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it, but I did really like it. Um, this is my number seven bronzer in the shade Golden Sand. This is my favorite drugstore bronzer. I really, really like this bronzer. It's smooth, it's creamy, goes on the skin nicely, and it's not patchy at all, I really like it. Um, let's see, this is the Amuse uh, Matte Bronzer. I got this in that Shop Missé haul. I like this bronzer, um, I don't love it. It's got a nice, um, like, slightly red undertone, which I don't really have any other bronzers like that. So I think I'm gonna keep this one. Actually, you know what? No, I don't love it, so I'm gonna get rid of it. The whole point of this declutter series is to get rid of items that I don't love, so I'm gonna get rid of that one because I don't love it. This one is a pure uh, Mineral Glow bronzer. I actually really like this bronzer. I think it's really nice. Um, got a nice soft glow to it however I've had it for quite a while see look at that that's really pretty but I've had it for a long time and I have other bronzers that I'm enjoying at the moment so I'm going to get rid of that one I definitely got a lot of use out of that in fact um, this came in a boxy charm I want to say like maybe two two and a half years ago by now maybe longer I don't even know but before BoxyCharm sent me this, I never even wore bronzer. This was, I think, the first bronzer I ever wore because BoxyCharm sent it, and I decided to give it a try, and that's when I discovered that I really like bronzers. So, kind of sentimental, but, you know, I don't need it. Um, this one, the Crystal Lace Blusher. I got this in the Korean Beauty um, video that I did. I buy Korean Beauty all the time. Um, and I got this is a blusher, but I got it to be a bronzer. This is so subtle that it really just does nothing for the skin. So go ahead and get rid of that one. Um, let's see, this is my little Essence must-haves, um, Hello Sunshine. These little, um, th these are like their little travel ones, and you pop them into a little, um, palette. The palette is big and bulky, I don't like the palette, but these are so good. They're only like a dollar, 
a dollar or two and they're good quality and they're perfect for travel like look at these you just take the couple of these stick them in your makeup bag and they're good i mean they're not the best quality on the planet but i think they're good and i'm gonna go ahead and keep that this is siate london this is a sample in palm island the bamboo bronzer i really wanted this bronzer everyone was raving about it um but I didn't want to spend that kind of money, so I ended up getting this little sample off of, um, where did I get it off of eBay or something? It's actually really nice. Um, let's see, am I gonna keep this or get rid of it? Um, I think I'm gonna get rid of it. I have enough bronzers for now, so I'll go ahead and get rid of that. This hula, I got this one from Sephora as a it was like a perk or something again i'm really happy they gave me this because i'd always wanted to try hula bronzers but i didn't want to spend that kind of money on bronzer i also can't stand their regular packaging those big clunky boxes no so i'm really glad they sent this to me i really like the bronzer it's smooth i like the undertones it's really nice so i'm glad i have that one this one is a Lorac. i got this as a gift with purchase in the shade sundays got this um, from kohl's when i bought my Lorac. Pro 4, I think it was. Um, this is nice, nice and creamy. It's got a bit of, I mean, it's illuminating. So actually it's a pretty good um, replacement for the Pure because it's got that same um, illumination. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one. This one is my Bare Minerals. I really like this one, um, Invisible Bronze in Fair to Light. I really like this one. I got this one off of the recommendation of Lindsay from Lady in the Truck. And so far I'm really enjoying this. I'm gonna keep that. This is a NARS. I picked this up at TJ Maxx. It was like $15. Um, Laguna. This one, I don't... Ugh, I'm still trying to figure out how to use this. Because look, it swatches great. You pick it up, it swatches really nice. But I have a hard time picking up with a brush. So I need to figure out the right brush. And then um, I'm going to keep it for now, but you know, continue to try to play around with it. And okay, this is the one that I was talking about, the trio that I really like. This is Tarte Hampton's Weekender Contour Palette. I really, really like this. It's got this really nice bron matte bronzer. It's got this nice matte blush, and then it has this nice um, highlighter. It's really cute. It's slim. It's like a little book. It's got a nice mirror. I think it's really good quality, and I like, look, it's just, it's really nice to hold. I really like that. So that's good for traveling. All right, let's go ahead and move on to blush. All right, now blush. Um, I don't know that I'm gonna get rid of a whole lot of these. I like, for the most part, most of my blushes. Um, this one, I will get rid of this one. This one is a studio makeup. I got this one in a BoxyCharm in Wildflower. Um, nice neutral color, but I've had it for a long time. It's getting old. It's not even that pigmented, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. This one I just got in that AOA on the Shop Miss A haul. This is another neutral blush. This one is nice and creamy. I'm still testing the longevity on this blush, so I'm going to keep it for now. This MAC, oh, I think I'm gonna get rid of this, you guys. Um, this is the only other MAC product I own besides my um, prepping, uh, what's it called, Fix Plus. Um, I want, really wanted to get a blush because everyone raves about their blushes and I went there with the intention to get um, Melba, that one that everyone raves about, that neutrally um, mauve one. And then I saw this and I was like, oh, look at that pretty shimmer. It's so pretty. You guys, this is way too shimmery. It's too pigmented. I can't even really use it as a blush topper. It's too dark to be used as a highlighter. But it's so pretty. Look at that. I don't know if it's coming across so pretty but you guys i really i just i never wear it and i'm not going to reach for this giant thing and use it as an eyeshadow so unfortunately i'm going to get rid of this and i really wish that i had gotten melba instead um, another one of those little um, essence things i'm going to keep that these are my two um korean beauty blushes by samuel i love these these are some of my very favorite ones this one is in the shade cro2 I really love the quality on these. They're smooth, they're pigmented. Look at that. This one is my favorite of the two. This one's CR01. Yeah, CR01. I just like this soft pink. 
that one's more like a peachy this one's more like just an everyday neutral pink so so pretty i love these beautiful sheen to them these essence touch blushes these are so good you guys they're only like two three dollars this one's satin coral this one is satin love this one looks like nothing in the pan but you guys look at this look at that so pigmented these last a long time they're smooth they're creamy they're blendable such good quality i'm definitely keeping those this is the crystal lace blusher i got this one from the korean beauty this one i got as a blush um, i like this one it's nice and um buildable it goes on not sh i don't want to say sheer but you can build it up which actually i quite like so if i want to do just a very soft subtle um blush to my cheeks i really like this one and then if i want i can build it up so i'm gonna keep that one this is the laura geller um baked blush and brighten in the shade tropic hues i got this in a boxy charm i really love this you guys look at that really pretty look at that looks beautiful on the skin kind of similar to the mac but um that one's the mac that's more peachy this one blends out nicer and it just gives like a soft sheen keep that i'm definitely keeping all these flower bombs i have bitten this one's borderline too dark but i'm gonna keep it anyways this is melon and this is nectar love these beautiful these are the only cream blushes i have this one i got from that shop missa this is extremely pigmented um, i have to be very careful when using this like look at that they last a long time like i said so pigmented so i'm gonna keep that um let's see i think i'm keeping the rest of well let's see mellow wine i'm gonna get rid of this one wet and wild in the sh uh, shade oh rose champagne not mellow one this one is so subtle it really just does nothing it doesn't even show up on my fair skin so i'm gonna get rid of that one let's see these are my two um milani baked blushes i love these these are so good this one is luminoso everyone knows this one beautiful peachy oh this one's actually a lot like the um mac one and then this one i i love this one this one's my favorite of the two this one's berry amore this one is just a nice um berry color really beautiful good quality i love these um these are the jouet blushes i just picked these up at sephora i really like these these are really good quality um running out of spaces to watch you guys <laughs> Um, really good quality i don't know how they compare to the full sizes because you know a lot of times they say the smaller ones aren't as good quality but i don't have any the full sizes but look at that really really pretty i like them this one wet and wild mellow wine this is like an orange one i don't really have a lot of orange blushes so i think i'm gonna keep this one this one's good quality look at that nice and pigmented i like that and then this is the anastasia um pool party trio this is always at tj maxx is the only one i ever see at tj maxx really really nice neutral mauve blush um nice mm, like peachy pink and then this i wish this one didn't have so much glitter in it but honestly when you blend it out on the skin you can kind of blend away those glitters and just ends up being like a bright pink so i like that i'm gonna go ahead and keep that all right let's i didn't get rid of Mm, too too many blushes but i knew i wasn't going to all right let's move on to the highlighters okay i think there's a few that i can get rid of here um let's see okay so this one i got from pretty volker and boxycharm this is really beautiful the quality um you know let me wipe off my oh, i'll use the top of my arm um quality is really nice it's just way too dark for me like look at that way way too dark so i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that nice quality though this vintage by jessica leap skin this is really nice it's got two blushes rose quartz and chocolate diamond for some reason i just never use it it's got this nice pink and then it's got this chocolatey one this chocolate one's way too dark so i never use that and then this one is nice but for some reason i just never use it and they're getting i don't know if you can see that and they're getting old so i'm gonna go ahead and pass that on these um i'm getting rid of these i got these in that shop missay the aoa wonder these are terrible they're dry they're chocolate they're supposed to be baked highlighters so you know most baked products are smooth and creamy but no those are terrible getting rid of those cyo i'm gonna keep this one this is in just shimmer switch in the clouds this is really pretty 
can mix them all together. You can do them individually. It's just a nice soft pink glow. Oh, the lighting, guys. I don't know if you can see that. Really, really pretty. I'm going to keep that. Same with this one. I got this one. Um, the Taylor is what has been raving about this for years as being like the perfect drugstore highlighter for fair skin. So I'm going to keep that one. Let's see. Just a nice sheen. And then you can do darker if you go towards the bottom. Um, let's see. I don't know if I'm getting rid of any of these highlighters, guys. Um, I've got these ones from the Essence. I'm keeping those. Um, definitely keeping this one. This is beautiful. I got this one. I watched this a YouTube video and they said this was a dupe for something. I don't remember what, like a high-end blush. I can't remember what. Maybe like Mary Luminizer or something like that. Really, really pretty. I like that. I'm going to keep that. And this was, it's a J-Cat um, Baked Shadow in uh, Dolce de Leche. Yeah. Um, and it's really nice quality. It's only, I think like three bucks maybe. Um, okay, this is a Kat Von D highlighter. Um, actually, it's an eyeshadow. It's in Thunderstruck. This has been discontinued. I'm pretty sure it's at um, all the TJ Maxx now. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that. It's a really nice um, white with like an interesting gold shift to it. So I'm still testing this one out. I might get rid of this one in the future, um, but for now, I'm still testing it. Definitely, these are my three Beccas. I'm definitely keeping those. This one is in pearl. Uh... Pearl, yes. This one I wish I had in a smaller size, but Ulta didn't have small sizes. And this was before they had a Sephora near me, so I got these at Ulta. Um, this one is really, really pretty. It's just a really beautiful icy white highlighter, perfect for fair skin. And then this one is Champagne Pop. I thought this one might be a little bit too dark, but it actually works pretty good on my skin. Um, I just blend it out with my um, sponge. Looks nice. And then this one is Moonstone. This is my favorite highlighter. So, so beautiful, you guys. Perfect on my fair skin. It's just so beautiful. So I'm going to keep that one. This one, um, Essence by Pure Nude. Um, I don't know, guys. Everyone raves about this as being like just the perfect subtle highlighter. But I don't know. I don't really get the hype. It's almost too subtle for me. If I want to go really subtle, I would rather just use my hourglass um, powders. So I think I'm actually going to get rid of this one, you guys. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the final section, which is my liquid highlighters. All right, these I think I'm going to get rid of quite a few. Okay, let's see. Um, this e.l.f. is actually really nice, um, but no matter how much I shake it up, like I'll squish it and squeeze it and you know when I open it sometimes it's still no matter how much I shake it sometimes it still comes out as just pure liquid right now probably yeah see see how it's really liquidy and just gross um, I mean once the color comes out it's beautiful but I don't know it's just gross it's separated yuck so I'm gonna get rid of that um, let's see, I'm going to get rid of this one. This is the LA Girl Velvet Stick. Um, it's nice, um, but it's just, it tugs on the skin a little bit too much. So I'm going to get rid of that one. I much prefer this. I love this, actually. This is my NYX Dose of Dew. Um, this one is really beautiful. I like this. It's nice and smooth. Doesn't tug on the skin at all. So I'm going to keep this one. This one I actually like. I got this in a BoxyCharm. It's a double-ended um, Coral Crush Blush cream blush and then on the other side is a cream highlighter but I've had this for a long time it's getting old so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that I did get a lot of use out of that though um, I took it on me with all of my cruises that I went on this one came in a boxy charm this is by who's this by so Susan I really like this this is nice and smooth and creamy look at that really really pretty so I'm gonna keep that I'm gonna keep this this is my mega glow hello halo by Wet n Wild. This is in the shade Halo Goodbye. I think this is really pretty. It's a nice soft um, pink color. It's smooth. Look at that. Nice and creamy. Oops, it's kind of... There you go. You have to like push down hard to get it close. Um, look at that. Blends out really nicely on the skin. Really, really pretty. I'm going to keep that. Um, okay, so these Cover FX drops. I got these in a BoxyCharm in Nova. Yeah, Nova. You guys, these are absolutely beautiful. So gold, so shimmery, but there's no way that this is a highlighter. 
I use this as an eyeshadow topper. So beautiful, look at that. So beautiful as a topper for my eyes, but definitely not for my face. But look at that, you guys. That is so beautiful, so I'm definitely keeping those. Um, now these four are all uh, Makeup Revolution. These are these ones here are supposed to be dupes for the um, Cover FX, you know, their liquid drops that they have. Um, this one is Unicorn Elixir. This one is so, so pretty, you guys. It's purple, it's got like, it's a white, but then it's got these beautiful purple, like reflect shimmers in there. So, so pretty, you guys. But I'm just not gonna ever wear that on my skin. It's so pretty to look at. Oh, look at that, you guys. So pretty to look at, but I'm just, like I said, I don't wear this type of color on my skin. And I'm not going to go through the trouble to pull this out to wear this on my eyes either. So, ugh, as beautiful as it is and as much as I love looking at it, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. And then these last three I'm definitely keeping. Um, this one is Liquid Luminous Luna. This is their pearly white. So, so pretty, you guys. That's their pearly white. This is Starlight. This one is their like pink it's not really rose gold it's just more like a soft pink and then this one is champagne so this is their champagne color all of these are very beautiful um, they blend out so nicely just blend it out with a sponge so so pretty you guys you can make them intense or you can really blend them out and just make them sheer and beautiful all right guys, so this is round two of my declutter. This is everything that I'm keeping. And then this is everything that I'm getting rid of so far. So not a whole lot, but you know, I still have, I think five more rounds of declutters. All right, so I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.